Yo guys, my name is Ali Games and welcome back to Let's Play Ultra Despair Girls. Where we last left off, we just defeated Monica. Um, we find out that she could walk the whole time because um, her home life wasn't good. So she thought if she made up a lie that she couldn't use her legs and made it look like her father and half-brother, it was their fault. That maybe she could get pity from them and, you know, all that fun stuff. So we defeated her. And Kurokuma, uh, Kurokuma's head blew off and blew out the window, so. Anyways, we're gonna keep on going. I wasn't sure if this is the end. I think it might be. Huh? You're kidding me. Monica yes, lost? Yes, Monica lost. That's right. Now, be a good little girl and just give up. No! No! Is Monica gonna be No, killed? we're not gonna kill you. I don't wanna die. No, there's no way I'd kill you. Of course not. But if you don't hand over that controller, it will not be pleasant. No, that's no good. If this controller is destroyed, Monica's plan will fail. And if that happens, Monica can no longer be the successor. That's enough. Just hurry up and hand it over, or I swear I will spank you good. <laughs> she will put you over her knee, little lady. If I break this, the Monokuma stop, and the brainwashing helmets will deactivate, right? And then this uprising will be over. But that was... well, it was kind of easy. Is it really okay? Hmm. Ramen broth and climaxes should always be light. Or would you prefer an ending that has us getting beaten up and thrown from one despair to another? Just like your older brother. Uh, I don't want that, but... Well, you're forgetting the real happy ending comes after we rescue Again, Master. I don't think they have him. So let's hurry up and end this. I don't this. think they have him. Uh, um, it's really okay to break this, right? It's obviously okay. You can stop the Monokumas and the brainwash. She's making it seem like it's not okay. Do I break it? Okay, why am I given a choice? Uh break the controller. Is that a good thing? What I saw after that was fireworks. Fireworks heralding me as a savior. A savior, the savior of Toa oh. City. It's all Those thanks to me. Exploding, right? I became hope. The hope of the adults who were treated so cruelly. Fireworks blessing me. It's all thanks to me. Everything is all my fault. What? Game clear, okay. Those weren't Monokumas, were they? Oh my god! Those were the helmets! Oh my god! Don't break the controller! <laughs> oh my god! I didn't know! Oh! At least I could go back! What, what are you doing? It's Sorry, just like something is in, um, concerning Gagan me. Rampa, concerning you? Where you can uh, pursue Kyoko's lie, and eventually she's the one that's killed. But then, like, you get the alternate ending, and then it goes back, and it's like, no, that's not how it's gonna be. Concerning you? Oh, those. Concerning or disconcerting? Could it be that maybe you want to be Monica's ally at the last minute? So you're hesitant. Hes no need to hesitate. She's like, yeah, that's the Just word. Just break the controller. Uh, no, let's so not. Ready. I had a bad you, premonition. You're right. No, please wait. Y you? Why are you here? Don't, don't break the controller. Yay! Cut no, 
course she did. You came to save She's like, shut me. up, bitch! Shut up! Who the hell would want to save you? Huh? I didn't know breaking the controller would also end the brainwashing. That would be bad. If it's just the Monokumas, that's fine. But the kids, we'd lose all the friends we made. If that happens, I'm gonna be all alone. What friends? You brainwashed them. But even then, I don't want to be alone. Please, pretty please, uh... don't take my friends away. Kotoko's right. Don't break that controller. If you don't, I promise, I'll kill all of the adults and build paradise. Sh shut your mouth, traitor! Kotoko. Because she knows you're lying. Things. We're friends. No, we're not! You're just a traitor who killed your own friends! Oh, please. Please forgive me. Let's just forgive and forget. Live in the now. Let's kill adults together again. Shut up! Be quiet! Die! What's going on? Just let those idiots oh, fight. Break Hurry the up controller. And break the controller. No, no! Stop! Please, leave me just. I'll even settle for just a little. What hope? You really think there's hope for you guys? Miss Kumara Naeki, please listen to Monica's request too. Please, make the right choice. If you don't choose right, <laughs> you're gonna replay this moment <laughs> over and over. So make the correct oh, choice. Oh god, that face! End this properly. I looked away for one second! What? Choice? We're not breaking the controller! No! <laughs> they were Monokumas that blew up! Kamaru? What happened? Huh? You're not gonna break it? That's weird. Why not? Didn't you want to stop those crazy kids? Didn't you want to be the heroine of this dirty, lame penal colony? Didn't Space you want to be everyone's hope? Just like your brother? I... I... Are you sure? If you don't break the controller now, this will just repeat over and over. Oh, hold on a second. This is backwards. Why do you suddenly want her to destroy the controller? Because... Controller get destroyed. Sh shut up! You be quiet! Toko, why don't you just come out and what say, should why I do? Why doesn't Kotoko just come out and say what happens? Will say the kids leave will that die? decision to you. But, but, uh, however, because I'm leaving it to you, I will share the responsibility as well. So, just do what you think is best. What I think is best. Breaking. Like, it's even bigger now. I'm not breaking the controller. I don't think it's a good idea to break it. At least, not right now. Th that's right. Good. Thank you, Big Sis. Thank you oh my so gosh, much shut for up, breaking Monica. Monica's special controller. Jeez, which side are you on? It would be such a bummer if the end credits started rolling before all the cast was here. Cast? Hmm. He'll be here soon. Probably running down the hallway right now. See? His hand's on the door! Oh, hi. Hi, G. Found you, Monica. See? Just like Monica said! Bullseye! We do have a sibling connection after all. Y you Why are you here? Kick her in the face, please. Big Brother came to save Monica, no. right? They're being so mean. Everybody
party's bullying Monica. Monica's getting picked on by the kids and the adults. Isn't that awful? Kick her in the face. Big brother, save Monica. Don't tell me that's what you're actually here for. I swear to God, Haiji. <laughs> Haiji? Don't be an idiot! Who the hell's gonna save you? B big brother? Stop calling me that! You're not my sister! You're just the old man's mistake. I didn't want you around. I never thought of you as family. Why? Why are you being so mean? Monica's just because... a child. You're no child. You're a brat who never learned her you place. You fucking killed people! Now it's biting you in the ass. It's over, Monica. I'm finishing this now. Please, stop it, brother. I'm scared. Uh, uh, Mr. Haichi... So that's the controller you for the You can't have it! Keep it away from him. Huh? What are you doing? Hurry up and destroy it! End this nightmare already! Please stop! If you destroy the controller, all of Monica's hard work will be wasted! I won't be able to create the successor! I won't be able to inflict despair on the world! How crazy are you? Very crazy. Oh, you, were you talking to me or now Monica? hurry! Hurry and destroy it! I, I, I know, but... Don't! You can't destroy it! This is some kind of trap! Destroy it! Destroy it, Kamaru! What's going on? Hey, <laughs> she's just watching like... Oh, let them tear each other apart! Oh my god! No! We're not breaking it! I don't want to kill those kids! us what is this why are you siding with those brats I i'm not siding with them or anything did you forget what they did if that's the case then shut up and listen listen Time the people outside were watching. They saw you defeat Monica's robot. What? You did this, didn't you? You're filming yep. all of this. Huh? Monica oh, has no the idea. fucking crap. They're still watching. They're waiting for you to destroy that controller. Everyone expects it from you. They're waiting for you to wake them up from this nightmare. You showed us hope. We were able to finally stand up to those brats because of your speech. Yeah. That's why I'm even here. That's why I'm not afraid of these kids anymore. Mm. It's all thanks to you. You are hope itself to us. But if you still can't make up your mind, I'll just have to help you choose. Hi, G. Tell them what you've done. Everything. The whole truth. And there's no way they'd side with you. Uh, everything? The reason why you want a successor. Everything. Tell them the truth. Or I'll make sure you regret it. Fine. I'll talk. A lot of cutscenes I'm feeling. It all started when I was still attending the Hope's Peak Academy Elementary School. Monica did a little prank to convince the Warriors of Hope to commit suicide. W wait what? That was a prank? Oh, of course. Monica didn't intend to end her own life at all. But you all took it so seriously. And around then, Monica met Big Sis Junko with the most miraculous timing.
The moment Monica saw her, Monica understood. Fix's Junko is light itself that will shine down on Monica's boring little world. It's a miracle! Thank you, God! Uh... At least, at the time I thought it was a miracle. But later I learned it was inevitable. She came into my life just to take advantage of me. Take advantage? She does. By then, Monica was already a chief executive at Toa Group's robotics branch. Oh, big brother, I'm sorry about that. Wasn't it painful to watch your little sister surpass you? And I'm also sorry to you, Kotoko. You didn't want to hear that little truth, did you? Big Sis Junko only cared about Monica. The other Warriors of Hope were just bonuses. D don't make stuff up! Big Sis loved us all! Love? What are you talking you about? about any of you. There's no way someone would love you. Mm. Your own parents didn't even love you. Enough. Just keep talking. I I'm sorry, I got it! Stop, big brother! Uh, at first, Big Sis Junko was looking for a corporation that could mass-produce machines, so that she could use them for the tragedy. That's why, to meet her expectations, mm. Monica started making all That's the Mr. Monica That's why Kittles. they were being produced. Concentrating all of the and resources Haiji. of Toa Group's robotics branch. Kaiji knew what they were. That makes sense. And just what was everyone else at Toa doing? Why did no, no one, one stop knew. you? I lied. To Papa and Big Brother. I told them I was building robots that could be domestic helpers and emergency aid workers. Mm. And the adults actually bought that story? No, it's more like... We turned a blind eye. She was the outsider in our family. But she's tenacious, with a genius intellect. As long as she kept earning Toa Group money, we let her so do whatever she wanted. So this is partially your fault! This brat took advantage of her position. Without started mass producing these her. monsters on her own. I didn't know what the machines were even for, so as usual, I let her be. But I did think they had a weird design. And thanks to that, Monica made Big Sis Jinko so happy. She started using them for the incident. That's what helped the incident get bigger and bigger. That's when the old man finally realized what was up. And when he tried to stop you. It's a little too late to stop producing the Monokumas anyway, right? If we stopped, Big Sis Junko would reveal the whole thing. She would make it known that Toa Group built all those murder machines. And would turn on them. And if she did that, Toa So it was, it was to keep up their inner Monica, image. are you threatening me? Jeez, Papa, that's not it. It's more like a business opportunity. This little bitch sold us the idea of making a weapon to fight the Monokumas. You made them, and then you sold the weapons to fight against them as well? The more out of hand the situation got, the more profitable Toa became. Just what a filthy demon would do! We didn't have a choice. We were in too deep. If we went against the Despair group, they'd reveal what Monica did under Toa's name. Then Toa makes enemies with both forces. We'd be shunned. Go extinct. Anyways... Toa Group did the right thing so instead and tried to trying... coexist with the despair. And to the public, they looked like heroes fighting against the incident. But behind the scenes, they were working for both sides. The reason that air purifier they developed was so effective was because... They were part of the cause in the first place. That's why the incident didn't hit them as hard. Those idiot adults didn't know that, so they worshipped Toa Group like they were saviors. But you better not blame this all on me. By the end, even Papa was into it. He supported the incident for money and honor. He ended up being a patron of Big Sis Junko. Toa Group? Junko Enoshima's patron? So that's why you distanced yourself from Future Foundation. You didn't want to get found out. No matter how rotten it is, 
And you Tour made Future Foundation look like the bad guys. Yet it. you were part of this. But the good times had to end eventually. Oh. Just when things were gonna get much, much more fun, Big Sis Junko died. All thanks to your brother, Miss Komaru Naegi. Since then, Future Foundation gained power, and Big Sis's influence got weaker and weaker. Monica tried her best to rebuild it by any means necessary, but Papa just said it's over, and gave up, like all the fickle wishy-washy adults do. Papa betrayed Big Sis. No matter what Monica said, Papa yeah, just wouldn't why, listen anymore. Why would... You couldn't forgive him for that, could you? That's why you targeted this city. That's what you told us, right? All we gotta do is fulfill the hopeful dream Big Sis Junko gave us. We shouldn't give up. We can't abandon hope. We need to build a paradise and take revenge against the adults who betrayed us. Monica is so grateful to the warriors of hope. Adults are dirty demons who killed Big Sis. You guys killed them off so well for me. I was so happy. It was yep, just it as I thought. Kids are so simple-minded. The truth is, Monica didn't really care about things like revenge and paradise. Succeeding Big Sis's will was far more important. Monica doesn't want Junko and Oshima's legacy to end. So that's how you came to the brilliant conclusion that you should become the successor? And in order to become the successor, what exactly did you do? Big Sis used to say all the time, that she wanted to paint the world so with she despair. To keep it all going. If someone could do that, don't you think they would make the best successor ever? What do you mean? War! Huh? Causing war. If a war breaks out, the world topples back into despair, right? So make it a. Okay, I was War. Like, what? Why did why it stop? What are you talking about, brat? You're bluffing. You're trying to trick us again, aren't you? You've got some ulterior motive. If you think so, why don't you just break that controller Ms. Komaru has? Break the controller and start a war. Wait, why would a war break out if this controller is destroyed? I told you she's bluffing. She's just using reverse psychology. Oh, hey, don't call Monica a liar. You told me to talk. I told you to tell the truth, not spew more of your lies. But why would it? I don't. Enough of this. No more talk. If you destroy it, destroy you that the kids. controller right now. Huh? Hey, hey, what are you doing? Don't tell me you seriously trust what this kid said. Oh, no, not again. break or don't break w wait no i can't break it yet so you're taking this little brat's word yes. over mine it's not like that but please wait i remember remember what a while ago monica and kuro kuma were having a secret talk i was listening in what are you talking about get to the point at the time i thought they were kidding but maybe they weren't if that's the case this is very bad. What are you talking about? The Monokuma heads the kids are wearing. They're linked to the Monokuma's power source. If that power source is cut off, the helmets explode. Explode? If you destroy oh, the controller, the Monokuma stop. That's horrifying. But all the Monokuma heads will blow up. And then, headless children everywhere. Come on, an exploding helmet? You expect us to believe that made up? Wow, bullshit? really, Haiji? But I'm serious. I heard them say it. You know, Monica would totally pull something like that. She betrayed the Warriors of Hope. She could do it without even feeling guilty about it. So, so mean, Kotoko, making me out to be the bad guy. 
Monica doesn't want the controller to yeah, be destroyed. Yeah, you do! Bitch. A rift in the group now, huh? Well, if you're both lying, you need to get your story straight. No, I'm serious! I heard it! That's enough. Destroy that thing already. N no! Never, ever destroy that controller! Huh. Huh. Oh, here we go again. Right? It's gonna flip on me! I know it! It's gonna, like, flip sides! And I'm gonna hit destroy it instead of don't destroy it. Hey! What are you doing? Why aren't you destroying it? Because... The children might die if I do. They're bluffing! I've been trying to tell you! It's not a bluff. But even if there's a small chance they're not... I can't do it! The kids wearing those helmets... They're just being brainwashed! None of this is their fault! Not everyone involved was doing this of their own will! Brainwashing? Are you serious? Who the hell cares about that? Huh? After all this, that excuse is not gonna fly! Even if they all died, they wow. had it coming! You've seen what they did to us! They didn't they know what they were it. doing! You can't be serious. You're just blinded by revenge. Maybe I am. But how could I not be? After what they did to us, not even the harshest revenge is enough to make me forget what I've been through. Listen. Listen outside. The screams of the adults, the ones who lost everything. Our loved ones were butchered by those little brats. They took everything from us. But you were the one who told us to stand and fight, right? It's because of your speech that we're even here right now. If you really are our ally, then finish this. <laughs> you are... You're our hope. Please, don't betray us. Destroy the controller, please. Please just end this for us. We just want it to be over. <laughs> Hold on a minute. You can't fool me. Me? No, idiot. You. I'm talking to you. Hmm? Are you talking yes. to Monica? I get it now. What you meant by war. You're trying to start a war between Toa City and Future Foundation. What? If children are killed, what would Future Foundation do when they found out? They'd think the adults who survived were behind it. And then they'd find out Toa Group was involved with manufacturing the Monokumas. From that evidence, I'm guessing Future Foundation would think the adults were remnants of despair. And if that happens, Future Foundation would crush this town immediately. Makes total sense. That's the idea, I was isn't it? The war would be between, but... Nope, that's not quite it. Because it won't just end with the war between Toa and Future Foundation. Huh? Future Foundation isn't the only one who'd see the adults as remnants of despair. The true remnants of despair that are spread all over the world, they'd learn about the war oh. in Toa City and they'd come charging Our in. Our good friends from Danganronpa 2! Toa City would become the heart of a resurgence of the despair that Big Sis Junko left us. Worthy of the name of Junko Enoshima. Wouldn't you agree? Are you serious with this? She can't be. She's bluffing anyway. Even if it were true, all you'd have to do is explain the situation to Future Foundation, right? And you're with them, right, Toko? I mean, you could straighten this all out easily. Would they listen? Hmm, I don't know. Because the city shares a past with the incident, they won't take any chances. The moment they see the headless bodies of children in the streets, it's over. They wouldn't even care about their hostage or Miss Toko's testimony, don't you think? 
What? Child victims have quite yeah, an they impact do. on people. It's just like I said from the beginning. Pitiful children are the most powerful. So that was your plan. You need the adults to take revenge so they will cause more child victims. You chose adults with no children because you thought they'd kill the kids with no remorse. I mean, adults with no children wouldn't have a single bit of mercy, would they? Wait then. We were... We were sorted and kept alive. You used Kamaru to incite the adults to take revenge against the kids, didn't you? Huh? <laughs> oh Monica may have helped things along, but Miss Kamaru's transformation was her own doing. That delicate little girl maturing, growing to overcome the despair as hope itself. You even grew to care about this town, wanting to save it, becoming the hope for the adults. Using hope to... But even so, incite, you know hope isn't always a good thing. At times, so. hope can be a terrible burden. To cause it can despair. be a drive to hurt others, just like now. That's... What did you think would happen if you gave people who watch their loved ones die hope? Did you think they'd all be positive, working together nice and peacefully? Of course not! They will turn into demons. Demons who live for revenge. You see? Just listen to them. There don't care whether or not the heads of the children are gonna explode. And she just admitted that's yeah, what's gonna they, happen. They sound pretty excited about it, don't you think? That's the sound of people who have completely transformed into demons. And this is all your fault, Big Sis. M me? It's because you stirred up the adults. Excuse me. It's your hope that turned them into demons, you know? So that makes it all, all, all your fault, Miss Komaru Naegi. What are you talking about? It's not Kamaru's fault, it's yours! Wait! Listen to what she's saying! If what she said is true, then she should have wanted to destroy she the did. controller right away! She could have just destroyed the damn thing herself! But then why? she would have her war! No, that it wouldn't be do. her that did That it. would not be she worthy of the success She personally could not way. have done it. She stood... Monica stood up? That's not important right now! Not just the city, but the whole world. How could this happen? So anyways, what are you gonna do, hmm? Huh? How are you gonna end this? Are you gonna kill the children and play the savior? Or... Are you gonna spare the children's lives and let them keep slaughtering the adults? Who lives? Who dies? That is your choice. There's no way to save both. One side has <sighs> to die, and you're going to kill them. <laughs> now it's about time you made your final choice. The final choice you can make as Komaru Naegi. Choose wisely! breaking it. Shut the uh, fuck up. You're gonna destroy the controller and then the children's heads are gonna explode. And that's when the war begins. And the successor, a new splendid symbol of despair will be born. Y you don't know that. And like, there's no way I'd ever accept you as a successor in the first place. There's no way you can be a vessel of Big Sis Juko. Kotoko. When did I ever say 
that Monica wanted to be the successor. It was going to be Kamaru. Oh. Monica's not the one who's going oh, to be the successor. Oh my god, it was going to be her. It's going to be Miss Komaru Naegi. <gasps> Paint the world with despair. She's going to, it would have been her. That's what Vixis Junko always used to say, you know? And what could be more despair inducing than having Makoto Naegi's sister be the successor? Mm -hmm. So, the one who's going to murder all these kids has to be Miss Komaru herself. What? What are you saying? Oh, don't worry. It's not hard. All you have to do is destroy the controller. I've already prepared cameras so that the moment is recorded and sent to Future Foundation. With Monica's video message as a bonus set. Monica already declared that Miss Komaru Naegi will succeed the legacy of Big Sis Junko. What do you mean? Why would I? Like I said, don't listen to her. She's just trying to keep you from destroying it. Are you not paying attention, it. dude? <laughs> Big brother. I've just been saying that over and over. Adults don't like change. You shitty little brat! Enough! Give me the controller. I'll destroy it myself! But if we do that, the children will die! What else are we supposed to do? We have to end this Maybe massacre. What about all the adults who died? Are we Can just we going change? to forget about them? What? They're being brainwashed with? Don't go dragging us into your revenge. Kamaru has Maybe nothing to do with tell this. tell them not to kill the adults? That's right. There's no reason to kill them. You don't have to be a part of this one bit. No need, no reason, no relation. That's the difference between Big Brother and Miss Komaru. This isn't personal for her. But I knew that might be a problem, so Monica made sure to make a special request. To get Miss Komaru to want revenge? I needed help from her parents. <sighs> now come on over here. Let's open the gates of hell with Monica. You too, mom and dad. The climax is gonna oh start soon. Your child will be born again as the successor to Junko and Oshima. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! What? What do you we mean? Got th she fucking... Are you ready for this? Take a body break? Get a list of insults ready for Monica? Have you mentally prepared yourself to surrender oh God, to despair? Dead. Unable to suppress the urge oh to kill? Then I'll show you! Is that hair in the mouth? Oh, there she has them! Bodies again? You don't have to show them, you know. I'm already well aware how terrible you are. After all this, you're still showing off, killing adults. No one saw the how name. Crazy, on the are you? Set on the dress. Kamaru. She probably wrote the message on the floor with her dying breath. But when she collapsed, the blood stuck. That's how those letters ended up on her skirt. Oh my god. Kumaru? Makoto. The an Makoto. It's been answered. Oh. Did you notice? She wrote the names of her children before she died. You have such loving parents. I'm jealous. Family love. It sounds so nice. Something I've never felt my whole life. That question I've been wondering this whole time. Oh my god. Lies. It's just a lie. Those bodies. No, it couldn't be. There's no way. Normally a dying message is something like, 
Stop writing the killer's name! Oh, that's not a very convincing argument at all. You can't refute me like that. You hate me, don't you? You hate me, right? I played with the bodies of your family like toys, and now you want to kill me, Why right? I don't. But no, wait! That's a lie! Well, I'm not so sure about that. You said your parents are missing, right? Hey, what are you... Showing it to you right now, like this? That means it's gotta be true, without a doubt. Now, are you gonna just forget the fact that this bitch murdered your own parents? Shame on you! That's not fair! You said she was bluffing a minute ago! You can't think of them as children. They're not anymore. They're the ones who are demons. Destroy that controller and finish it! Kill them all! Not just for your sake, or your parents' sake, but for everyone who was murdered! Hold on. We can't just do something like that. Laru. Oh my god. It, it's fine. Kamaru? If you want me to destroy it that much, I'll do it. No! And I said hold on! Calm down and think carefully. Come, shut up! <laughs> Who cares anymore? No matter what happens to adults, no matter what happens to children, no matter what happens to this town, no matter what happens to the world, I don't give a damn anymore. I don't give a damn. Kamaru, Toko, I'm sorry. I. <laughs> it's impossible. I, I can't become like Makoto. <laughs> this is all determined from the very start. The hope you felt was just for the sake of making you feel the worst kind of despair. I knew from the beginning that you would fall into despair. Sense. Just hand that over! No! I won't give it to you! I need to protect this controller! I need to for Kamaru's sake! What that's are you not talking about? Kamaru. She was going to destroy it! That's not how she really feels! I'm sure she's actually thinking that, that she doesn't want to do it! Huh. How the hell could you possibly know that? I, I don't know how! I just know! Huh? I've been told you weren't the type to interfere. That's why I chose you to take on the role of escort. But it appears that the information Mr. Servant provided was false. So, how about this? That's right! Where did she pull that it's out the of? key to the room where Mr. Byakuya Togami is locked inside! Say, you want to trade this key for that controller? If you do, you can go home with Mr. Byakuya Togami! You're... Telling me to choose between Kamara yes. and Master? <laughs> now it's your turn to make a choice. Fine then. Hand over Master's key. Toko, what the fuck? I knew you'd do it. Now, why don't you just hand me that controller? No, not gonna happen. Huh? Because I'm taking Kamaro home with me as yeah, well. Yeah, bitch! 
What are you saying? You gotta make a choice, that's the rules. Who, who cares about your damn rules? You want me to make a choice? There's no way I could ever make that choice. I wouldn't choose one and leave the other behind. Both are... Both are important to me. So... So... I'll definitely protect both! What the heck? That's just unreasonable. Enough already! Just hand over the- Oh my god! I'll crush it! I'll never... I'll never hand it over! Do you want me to hurt you even more? Hurt? That means nothing to me. I'm sure you don't understand, since you have plenty of disposable friends, but... I finally made a friend in Komaru, and I'm not going to hurt my friend, so I'll never hand it over. Shut up! In order to keep the kids under control and end this nightmare, this is the only way! You no! go, Kotiko! You're the ones who are out of control! Ow! Let go! I won't let go! Hey, what are you guys doing? <laughs> what? Fucking yes, Toko! Huh? My girl! Oh, hi. <laughs> right? Why is it? Why is it moving? Monica has no idea. The only ones who can control Big Bang Monokuma are you and Mama. You are the ones who programmed it that way. How? not the only thing that hurts. This is the first time I've ever slapped someone in the face. See what you've made me do? No, come on. Hit me back. Huh. Why? Isn't it obvious? It... It makes us even. I've never had a friend. So I... Well, you did it to snap her I out. Don't she... You don't deserve You know what to do in situations like this. Like you're fine. So just... For now, if you hit me, we're square, right? So, hit me. Fine. How? That was pretty strong. Jeez. You're right. You're right. <laughs> My hand hurts. That's not the only thing that hurts. Yeah. <gasps> oh! We're the same. If you can't do something on your own, all I have to do is help you. If I can't do something on my own, all you have to do is help me. Helping each other. That's the advantage of working together, right? Yeah. Aww. And just so you know, I won't comfort you or... You are you. doing it just I'm now. Good at that stuff. And Ugh. we still don't know if... If those were really your parents. They were. We can't be distracted by the stuff that they doesn't were make sense. Parents. Focus on what's happening now. What do you want to do, right now? Have you decided? Yeah. I have. I want to protect both. I'm not gonna play her sick little game. I'm going to save the adults and the children. <laughs> Greedy girl. Can't say I don't approve. Okay. This might be a long one, guys. This is truly the last boss. It's gonna be a long, it's gonna be a long one. Oh god, that's that's creepy. It's like, 
but it's like this. Hey, girls. <laughs> that thing looks like it's targeting us. Or maybe it's aiming for the controller. What should we do? Take it down. Fight. I'll fight. I've decided. I'll fight to protect everyone. Toko, will you help me? Isn't it obvious? It's normal for friends to help each other. I love it! I'm so sorry! I love it! Ah! They hurt my heart! In a good way! Oh my god. Kamaru, let's show them. You and I... The power oh. of the Ultra Dangerous oh, nice. Sisters. Huh? What's that? Well, you told me to think about it, so I did. What, not satisfied? Not good enough for you? Um... How about we try... Oh. Ah! What are you doing to Kamaru? Okay, yeah, I have, I have very little hearts. Tomorrow, leave it to me. I'm on the fast track now. Cool. Uh, right. 
Maru and I are not alone. As long as there are friends who help each other, there's no need to despair at all. I found it. I finally found hope. A hope to call my own. Right, Kamaru? <laughs> yeah, me too! Oh, damn! Hope lives on! Did we just make a hope bullet? I can't even explain! Ah! Do it? Oh yeah, we did it! We did it! We did like, oh fuck! Kidding me? No, Big Bang Monokuma is our hope. That's. Uh, now she can. Oh, I think she still can walk, actually. <laughs> Just walk on. No. And now it's over. It's not over yet. Nothing's finished yet. This is just. It's just delaying the inevitable. The children are still brainwashed. The adults still want revenge. In fact, they're even more angry now, having their hope killed like that. So nothing's changed! This isn't a happy ending or a sad one. This isn't hope or despair. Nothing has changed. Kick her in the face. So are you gonna kill Monica? Take a little revenge for yourself? It's just fine. If Monica is killed by Makoto Naegi's sister, that should be enough to spare. Give me the key to Byakuya's oh. room. Huh? Hand it over. Watch it not be Byakuya. Watch it be the uh, ultimate this point, imposter. I, I have to compromise <laughs> with no more hostage. Future foundation will come, and the remnants of despair will follow. Maybe it's not going exactly to plan, but maybe a small-scale war will start. I'll compromise. Monica has to be an adult sometimes, after all. But this really has nothing to do with you two, does it? This town, this planet, they don't matter to you two. You just want your happy ending. You're not even letting me have a small taste of despair! <laughs> Yak all you want. Let's go, Kamaru. Monica miscalculated. I overestimated you. Though I guess Monica was not the only one. You thought too highly of yourself as well. Monica tried to imitate Big Sis Junko. You tried to imitate your brother, but in the end, we both failed. Neither of us could live up to expectations. There's no way I could imitate him, and no way I'd want to. I am not my brother. Makoto is Makoto, and I am me. Don't mess with me. An ending without hope or despair? Monica will definitely... Here you beg for your life just because your plan didn't work. <laughs> That's totally what she was gonna do. 
You must have noticed by now. I was acting this whole time. But even now, I love you lots. Even though you betrayed me, my feelings haven't changed. So, it'd be great if you could die in a totally adorbs death. Bye-bye forever. Take your revenge on Monica? Don't you want to kill Monica? You aren't satisfied with this, right? You aren't just gonna walk You're away. A sh in shock. You don't want it to end like this either. Fix says Junko would hate me if I let it end like this. Hope, despair. I don't care anymore. what despair feels like. <laughs> and she has gone insane. Well, she's been insane, but... There's really no point worrying about it now. More importantly, we need to save Master and get out of here right away. Hmm? I still don't think they have it. Just saying. W what happened? I, I know I can save both the adults and the children. Well, we can chat about it after we get out of this damn town, once and for all. Toko, I... I'm staying in this town. Huh? I gotta see. So, are we gonna find him or no? It's because I didn't get any of the um, Monoku Man things. What happened? Yeah, Your expression blah, blah, brings blah, out the blah, conqueror blah. in me. Blah, 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 blah. Shut up, Yakuya. No one cares. I don't know. Should I keep going? Hmm. Maybe just to see, because I don't think if it's an epilogue, I don't think it'll be long. Yep, it's an epilogue. So yeah, we'll just keep on going. The changing world we made. Oh, you're awake? You were lucky. You would surely have perished if I wasn't there to save you. Why? I changed my mind and decided to stay in this town a while longer. And while I'm here, <clears throat> I figured I should see this through to the very end. That's not what I meant. Oh, you mean why I saved yeah? you? Yeah? Because I'm the same as you. I'm disappointed with endings that waver between despair and hope. I wish a real war had started. If it did, I know a brilliant hope would have been born. That is why I allowed myself to be captured after all. So you did it on purpose? But 
You aren't finished yet, right? No. Nothing has really changed so since you began. So her appearance in the anime was so... So, it was... I need you to continue working uh. hard. So that a splendid hope They should have just born. made her the actual... You have tasted the bitter despair uh, of having your meticulous plan fall apart around you. So I know you can do it. Really? Which side are you on? Does it even matter? Anyway, why don't you be the successor for now? If that is your intention, I will lend you a hand. If my schedule allows it, of course. There is somewhere I need to be later. What do you mean? I shall raise you to be her copy. One even more realistic than the real one. Someone oh, like God. me, who both hates and loves her more than anyone else. I should be able to make you more like her than even she herself was. Gross. hear from you. I'm so relieved. I'm glad you're safe, Byakuya. Well, safe enough, I suppose. Are you outside Toa City? You must be if this connection is secure, right? Yeah. I used the secret passageway under the shrine. The captives are safe, thanks to the relative of that idiot we know so well. I'll introduce you to her later. She's much more talented and useful than he is. What's your position? I'll send rescue right away. Before you do, there's something you need to know. Huh? Komaru Naegi and Toko Fukawa. Oh, so they did have them the whole time. You. Not with you. I was wondering, I'm like, why? I'll I let can her see that explain. being a trap, but. Huh? She asked that I send you this message. It might be garbled a bit, but it'll do. 
Um, can you see me, Makoto? You're surprised that I'm not leaving, right? Sorry for making you worry. There's a lot I want to say. But first, let me explain why I'm not there. Oh, are they on the sh- Oh, nope, never mind. And not happy at the same time. He's like, I'm rescued, but it's by her. <laughs> Why? Why are you bringing but up something them, like that? But still, do you feel responsible for their revenge? But that wasn't your fault. You can't feel bad about that, not even a little. No, that's not it. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. This is my decision. Then why are you doing this? Didn't you want to get out of this place and live a normal, peaceful life? But now you want to stay here? That's like the complete opposite. You're right. You, it's not because you feel despair. No, of course not. I don't want to get slapped again. Then why? Even I'm not totally sure. But earlier, when I said how I want to save both, all the scary feelings and hesitation I've felt, we're gone. Even though the odds were against us, for some reason, I felt courage. I think it's because I was confident that that was what I needed to do. But what would happen if I leave this town with you and Biakia? What would happen if Future Foundation came here to suppress the riot and uncover the secret? And then what would happen if the remnants of hope were to oh, find they this did. Place? It would turn into a war. At least two of them did. Just like Monica said. We're well, the worst ones there too. So you're saying you're going to be this town's hostage in place of master? Until now, I kept relying on you. And I never really got to make decisions on my own. But I was like that even before I met you. I used to give up all the time. But the decision to save everyone was one I made on my own. Of course, I'm scared and I'm worried. But despite that, I've made up my mind. I won't give up until the very end. I'll make sure I protect both. Idiot, you're awfully optimistic after all this. <sighs> Seriously, what are you thinking? You're just like your brother sometimes. No. I think I got it from you. Huh? Me? You were with me all this time. If I have changed, it's your influence, Toko. She's like... Mm. For now, I'm going to be fine. This is much better than imprisoned life regardless. So don't worry about me. Go back with Byakuya. You two are the only ones who can persuade Future Foundation not to interfere here. S so please, don't be mad. What? Of course I'm mad. Jeez, why do I have to stay behind in a town like this? I... Oh, no, you misunderstood. I meant I'm the one who's gonna stay here. If you're going to stay, there's no way I can leave. I decided to be with you too, remember? She's not going to abandon you. Do you really think some brother complex girl like you can be master's substitute? Yes. In a hostage trade, you and I are barely enough for one, Master Byakuya. So, ship I'll stay sailed. with you. That's the decision I made. No complaining. It will always but be sailing. You said you wanted to go home with Byakuya. Hm. I don't need your concern. Master and I are rock solid. Even if we're apart, our feelings towards each other will never change. Yes, that's correct. Huh? Master Byakuya! It's true what you said. Even if we're apart, my feelings of disgust toward you will never change. Master? Duh! 
So the reason I've decided to stay isn't because someone forced me to. It's a choice I made myself. But I know that I can't just expect things to change right away. Just because I'm staying. I know that I can't become real hope. Like you. So, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for the day you guys defeat the remnants of despair. And come home safe. Uh, but, you don't have to rush or anything. Okay? I'll wait until the day you come to pick me up. I have the gun Mr. Byakuya gave me. And... I have my reliable friend Toko, and about mom and dad, I didn't find oh. anything. I went to the torture room later, but it was empty. The film that girl forced me to watch must have been recorded earlier. Or fake. That means there's a chance they're alive and well somewhere, right? Maybe even somewhere in this city. No. That's what I choose to believe. Okay, sorry, this video is getting pretty long. I guess I should wrap it up. The next time you see me, I might be so grown up you don't even recognize me. Just like how surprised I was when I saw you. See you later, Makoto. So that's the situation. I thought all your sister was good for was cowering in fear. But there you have it. Seriously? Well... She surprised me before. Hey, Makoto. You know what we have to do, right? We have to stop this idiotic war and return here to retrieve them. We wouldn't want to betray their expectations. Yeah, you're right. I've made up my mind, Byakuya. If a situation like this ever happens again, no matter how dangerous the trap, I'm jumping right in so I can end it properly with my own two hands. Hearing you say that reminds me of what you said back at the Academy. Huh? Hope keeps going, huh? Fine. I'll partner with you for just a little while. At least, until I've repaid the debt I owe to Toko and your sister. Yeah. Alright, is that the end? Yes. Okay. So, that was fucking awesome. Uh, I think the only thing though is they should have saved the thing with Naito, Monica, Chirakuma, Kurokuma, and Izuru slash Hajime for like an after credits thing. Like they did with Monokuma coming back. Which was looking at I think was looking at Dangrama 2 or this. But oh my god. That was great! That was so cool! I... No, she... I don't know if she was lying to Makoto saying that their parents might still be alive, but still, that video was bad. I don't know. I think they're dead because they never say in the anime if they're alive or dead, and I think that was... She wants to believe they're still alive or somewhere in the city, but I think they're dead. It would not surprise me if... They killed them, and we're waiting for that opportunity to show them to start that because, you know, they haven't seen their parents in almost two years. Skip and see. Oh, hey. All right, then. Hey, you are ready yet? We need to get you a new outfit, Toko. Don't shout so early in the morning. You're not really a morning person, are you? Are you secretly staying up late without me? Thanks to your jimmy legs and snoring, I can't get a good night's sleep. I am so not snoring. But it's true I might toss and turn while I'm You're asleep. You're staying at a hotel. It wasn't just snoring. You were talking in your sleep. Saying, Makoto! Lies! Definitely lies! And if you want to get a good night's sleep, why don't you go sleep in your own exactly. bed? We're in a hotel, there's plenty of other rooms. Don't be an idiot. What happens if a ghost you know, shows up? Oh, so you're into occult stuff now. <laughs> well, Jesus. you really did get possessed, right? So, 
ghosts do exist, right? <laughs> well, I guess that's just one more thing you're afraid of now. It's all your fault. Come on, let's go. If we don't keep a watchful eye, these people are gonna start fighting again. No time to slack off. What? But you're the one who woke up late. Hey! I told you to wait! Aw, oh, come on, Toki! I can just see her, like, fall in the background like, No! Don't call me that! Three. Oh my gosh, the Monami sign. <laughs> That's great. Hinting towards Danganronpa 2. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I love it. You can now read the spin off novel. What? There's a spin off novel, hmm? about Yasuhiro Hagakure, hmm? Well, I think we need to read that sometime, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm, what you think? Save it into the second spot. All right. That was Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls. Freaking awesome. Um, there's a few things. I guess I only, well, do the fact that this was the first game that they made that was kind of different because they made the first two games, uh, they came up with one and two first, and then they made this one. So going from pure visual novel t with a little bit of gameplay to mostly like a shooter game, it's probably, you know, obviously it's not the best. Maybe if they work out with a little bit more, that would have been, that would have been cool. Like I kind of, me and my friend were talking and we were saying about how if they would have done Danganronpa, um, the future arc as something similar to this. And then making um, the despair arc, yeah, the future arc like this and the despair arc like just pure visual novel. So you weren't, they weren't crammed in like two, 12, whatever episode anime. And then the one hour, one hour movie, whatever. But I liked it, I'm glad. Um, that the character growth with Toka was amazing. I'm so happy how much she she changed. Like in the first game, I, she was just she was tolerable, but she wasn't my favorite. But now it's just like oh my god, she like just rose to the ranks. She's become such a great character. She grew up, and then I like Kamaru's growth too. Like she used to be that cry little cry baby, like she couldn't do anything, and now. I'm a normal girl. It's like, well, now you know what you can do. And you, she kind of, I think everyone kind of thought that she had to be like Makoto because he's her brother, or yeah, he's her brother and he was the ultimate hope and that she should be exactly like him and as brave as, as, brave as him, which he wasn't that brave either, if you remember. But anyways, if you guys want me to, I will read the... Uh, the spin-off of, of Hero. I didn't know that was a thing. That's super cool. Um, there's also a, another novel, a uh, spin-off novel. I think it's called Danganronpa Zero. It's about a whole new, like, a whole bunch of new characters, um, going through the same thing. Like, I don't know if it's during a killing game or whatever, but if you guys want to read that sometime, I'll read it, but it won't be, like, face cam. It'll be, like, if you ever watch like people narrate creepypasta and stuff, like it'll be like that with pictures and shit, but something like that. But if you guys want me to, maybe I'll read it. Um, I don't know if it's like a visual novel or if this is just a regular like novel, like books, like you know, pages and shit, but who knows? But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, next game will be Danganronpa 2, we'll blast through that. And then maybe by the time that's over, V3 will be around the corner. I might have like a two week period where, where there will be no Danganronpa stuff and there will just be whatever game I'm playing at the time. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you liked it, leave a comment if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Oh, give me it! Yes!